Well, first up tonight, the retreat fire 14 miles southwest of Natchez has burned over 24,000 acres. It's prompted evacuation notices for nearby residents and is just 4% contained. First at 6, Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell spoke with fire officials for the latest on firefighting efforts and tagged along with emergency officials for an exclusive look at the damage. More than 400 firefighters are currently battling the retreat fire, many of them working 16 hour days. Fighting on the front lines, some overnight. A caterer for hot breakfasts and dinners, plus snacks and bagged lunches to go. But all coming back to camp for eight hours to sleep. So it's basically uh, uh, work, eat, sleep, and, and, uh, and then repeat. Uh, we do have shower facilities on site here at the camp as well so that they can catch a shower in the evening or the early morning. Winds have fanned the flames, driving the fire east toward neighboring communities. On the outer edge of the communities, it's about maybe a mile, mile and a half from the closest community of Titan. Three and a half to four miles from Kawichi. Firefighters working to establish a fire line to prevent the fire from getting any closer. At this point, um, the fire getting established up in the, the timber areas where it's, it's tougher to, to work and extinguish um, is kind of the challenge as opposed to the open uh, grassy um, fuel compo component areas. Leaving behind tens of thousands of acres of damaged forest land. The fire no longer burning primarily along Highway 12, but the roadway still closed due to the danger of burned trees and boulders falling into the roadway, going all the way up toward Rimrock Retreat, where the fire started last week, and where Yakima Valley Emergency Management officials say it destroyed at least two homes. The National Interagency Coordination Center reporting firefighting costs already up to $2 million. The cause is still under investigation and we don't have an update on that. Uh, that's still being investigated uh, by law enforcement. In the meantime, authorities asking the public to be careful not to start another fire that could pull crucial resources away from this area and cause even more damage. Reporting in Natchez, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now.